Hi friends, welcome to EduTab. So welcome to the Everyday at Five series brought to you by EduTab. Now this is lecture number nine. Uh, this is a regular series for IBPS year for 2018-19. Now in this particular series, we shall be taking up uh, uh, some some important topics and then we shall discuss certain MCQs on it and we shall also go into the detailed explanation. So so far we have been taking up topics from horticulture. So we have discussed four crops till now. We have discussed apple, uh, mango, banana, and grapes. These are fruit crops basically. And now let us just deviate and go towards uh, some other chapter as well. And as we have been seeing that the students have been asking for agricultural engineering as a chapter. So going by your demand, uh, let us just have a look at uh, one of the topics in agricultural engineering. That is tillage implements. Right now, friends, what we shall do is basically let us try and come up with certain MCQs. Like today, we will discuss five, and as part of this series, I will also ask you certain MCQs. And as usual, please come up, participate in this uh, uh, series, and answer the questions in the comment section below. So let us start with the questions out here. So before we begin, a quick look at the courses which EduTap offers for IBPS CFO 2018-19. So we have a full video course including the test series. So as part of this particular course, for each of the topics in agriculture, we come out with videos, concept notes, summary sheets, MCQs, worksheets. We also have full length, uh, 25 full length mock tests plus 25 sectional tests. Now this particular course can be available for a price of rupees two four nine nine, and the offer has started from 26th of October and it will end. End on 2nd of November 2018. We also have a separate test series, which again includes 25 full-length mock tests plus 25 sectional tests, along with detailed PDF solutions. This can be got for a price of rupees 1499. Okay, friends. So uh, straight away, moving to the questions directly. So the first question for today is: In disc plows, the tilt angle varies between what? Okay. Now you need to understand that when we are talking about tillage as a topic, there are certain tillage implements that are used at various stages. Now, if you are aware of the tillage as a topic, you would know that the stages are primary tillage. you have secondary tillage then you also have intercultural operations so for each of these stages there are different uh, implements that are being used now for each of the implements there are certain important points that you need to note one of those points is tilt angle in disc plows okay now the answer to this particular question is 15 to 25 degree Okay, now friends, we will not go into the explanation. All this explanation will keep uh, as a part of a separate lecture. Here we will just discuss certain MCQs. Now, the first question for today is: you, What you need to do is in the comment section list down some of the important primary, okay, and secondary tillage implements. Let us start from the basics. Okay, so you need to name them very clearly. Now let us move to the second question. Okay, so what is the field capacity of indigenous plow per day? And you are assuming that each day the work is done for eight hours. Okay, now you need to understand that when we talk about indigenous plow, it is something which you are operating manually. So usually eight hours per day is taken as a working capacity when you are uh, involve humans in it, right? That is why this eight hours. So per day you need to tell me how many hectares can be plowed when you use indigenous plow. Okay. Now the answer to this particular question is 0.4 hectares. Okay. We will discuss more elaborately, but right now just understand that it is 0.4 hectares. Okay. This is an important question. There might be a direct question as well. Okay. Now the second question that you need to answer for today is uh, there is a secondary implement which is called harrows. Okay. So now there are certain types of blade harrows that are present. Okay, I'm repeating myself. It is blade harrows. Okay. Now you need to tell me two implements that are a type of blade harrows or the names of two implements that are very common when you talk about blade harrows. Now this is a kind of a tricky question. You might have to do a bit of research to come out with the names, but when you do, it is really going to help you out. Okay, so mention those blade harrows that are used in secondary tillage operations, right? Okay, so moving towards the third question out here. So which of the following operations are done by the mold board plow? Okay, M B plow, 
famously as it is called okay now this is a very important and this uh, implement has been used for long okay so you need to tell what are the operations that are performed by using this mb plow okay let us go through the options you have cutting the furrow slice okay first cutting it lifting the furrow slice inverting the furrow slice pulverizing the furrow slice okay so what you're doing is it is like a step by step process if you see cutting it lifting it inverting it pulverizing it okay now the answer for this, this particular question is all the above so all the above steps are being performed by using this mb plow okay okay friends so the third question for you guys today is name the tillage implement that is used for rice cultivation you can name one or if you know more than one kindly name them okay so so far what are the things that we have uh, discussed we have discussed that you need to tell me a list of some of the primary and secondary implements okay you need to tell me the names of certain blade harrows okay the third thing you need to tell me what are the implements that are used for uh, rice cultivation tillage implements okay now coming to the fourth question for discussion which of the following is used for primary tillage okay now friends if you answer the first question that we have put for that you need to name some of the primary and secondary tillage implements automatically this question is also going to be easier for you so the answer uh, for this particular question is plows okay so basically the first operation that you are doing is plowing okay uh, tillage is all about starting from plowing the field right so this is the uh, uh, first step obviously that is performed so plowing and plows are used for primary tillage operations now the remaining ones are can or now understand that tractor can also be used okay but if plow was not there then you might think that there are certain kind of tractors that also you can directly use but here since plow is present in the option obviously that is going to be the first choice when it comes to primary tillage okay now the other options that are given like plants rollers and harrows now you need to find this out i'm not going to tell for which they are used when we discuss the primary and secondary tillage implements list that time we can figure this out right uh, now the fourth question that i'm going to put forth here is there is a special purpose operation tillage operation which is called puddling okay now this particular operation is done in standing waters okay this is used for rice cultivation this is very important now you need to tell me what is the depth of the water that is generally considered ideal when you are doing this puddling operation okay so you need to tell me the depth of water so a couple of questions friends but still believe me when you start researching these questions many of your concepts would start getting clear okay next the fifth question for today is disc angle in a standard disc plow varies from okay the answer for this particular question is 42 to 45 degree okay now understand that we are talking about standard disc plow there is another disc plow that is vertical disc plow okay for that mostly the angle is seen to be 40 to 45 degrees okay so there are two types of disc plow one is standard and other is vertical now friends is one other thing suppose in the options you do not find 42 to 45 okay and there is no other option there so you can see look for option that is 40 to 45 degree okay so that is also one thing just keep in mind but when you talk about in specific standard it is 42 to 45 and vertical disc plow it is 40 to 45 okay but you can also look for 40 to 45 in case you do not find this option okay now uh the last question that you guys need to attempt is uh, tell me the name of one implement which is used for both okay primary as well as secondary tillage operations right so we have a couple of questions collected today some tricky some simple so quickly revising them the first question list down the implements which are used for primary and secondary tillage operations right and then a uh, move on tell me two implements that are blade harrows the names of two okay then you need to tell me uh, one of the question was regarding uh, the depth in puddling operation the depth of water okay and uh, then you need to tell me uh, the 
what are the what is an implement that is used for both uh, primary as well as secondary tillage operation then i'm guess i am i believe i'm missing one question but obviously you would have heard what i've told before so with this you need to come up with the questions and mention the answers in the comment section below let us see how one of how many of you are getting it right plus more than getting it right it is important for you to go back and have a look at these questions because it is going to help you out in the examination right now these are the answers for the questions that we have just discussed so friends if you want to know more about our courses kindly visit our website www.edutab.co.in you can also drop us a mail at hello@edutab.co.in you can give us a call at 8146207241 So friends with this we have come to the end of this particular lecture today so we have been doing a lot of revision we have been doing a lot of work okay so this is really going to help us in the examination plus the notification is out guys we need to gear up and the examination that is the prelims is going to be held on 29th and 30th of December 2018 and the mains examination shall be held on 27th of January 2019 So till then friends thank you so much and if you really found the video useful kindly like subscribe and share thank you guys and happy learning